he have the potential to see an average winter unlike in recent years. Yeah, Mount Mansfield in Vermont has actually seen a record amount of snow so far for the season. 22 News from Team Meteorologist Alexa Bianco explains how the polar vortex could help us get some snow in southern New England. Yes, Nick and Sarah, when talking about the polar vortex, especially when adding La Nina or El Nino into the mix, it can be confusing, but I decided to break it down for you. We have two jet streams, the polar jet stream located between Canada and the northern United States, the subtropical jet stream located between the southern United States and the tropics, and in the poles we have the polar vortex, a cold core, low pressure system. It's there up near the North Pole year round. It doesn't just come in the winter. You know, we associate it in the winter time because that's when pieces of it kind of swing down from the North Pole and bring shots of colder air into the into the region. This time of year, we start to see a lot more changes in our jet stream day to day, week to week. The reason the vortex weakens is because of Rosby waves, which are essentially big wobbles in the jet stream. A big Rosby wave means we get a deep trough, cold air moving south, and a strong ridge, warm air moving north. When that ridge amplifies towards the pole, it can disturb the polar vortex and warm the stratosphere. You may have heard the terms El Nino and La Nina. They don't control these patterns, but they can influence them. La Nina and El Nino are basically the warming and cooling of the Pacific Ocean and near the equator, west of South America. We are projected to have a weak La Nina the first half of winter, which could bring cooler spills and some more snow, then potentially turn more mild by the time we get to February. Typically, when we have a, a stronger La Nina, that we tend to be a little drier and a little colder. Uh, with the weak ones, that's when we can see a little bit more snow or at least an average snowfall for a winter. But again, it's a very weak connection there. It's not like locked in. Many factors play into it, and that is oscillations as well, which is a climate pattern that flips between different phases, and each one affects our weather in a certain way, an example being the North Atlantic Oscillation. Weather is one big domino effect. If one thing's affected, another, going, another is going to be as well. Working for you, Storm Team Meteorologist Alexa Bianco.